it's like, yo, like, let's chill, you know, like, let's take this year and just like, you, you know, the events that you go to, like, fucking cherish them, dude. The events that you go to on like drift of your friends, like, fucking have fun, like, really yeah. enjoy it because, like, think about it we're in may and like no one in the midwest has really driven yet hasn't drifted yet you know so um it's just one of those things like we got to keep our heads up and like to all the organizations around the midwest that are like watching this or whatnot like yo dudes like if drift indy could help out in any way or you guys have like any questions like feel free to reach out like we're, we're here we, we have a great team that is proven um and you know we have a great success record with what we are doing right so um in a way we're going to continue we're going to do our thing this year um and we're not going to let this thing ruin anything for us. You know, yeah. we're still going to have we're still going to have fun, and we're still going to bash at No Star Batch. Nice. Uh, I'm hopefully I'm making it out to that one because I definitely want to make it out to another No Star Batch because it's been a while. Oh yeah, dude, 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 Kilker is a blast, man. Kilker is awesome. Like it's a great time. Like um, we normally used to travel around for No Star Bash, and we just kind of stayed there because it's that much fun. And every year, it's like. It just keeps getting better and crazier every year. So this year, I'm hoping. Well, I haven't really told anybody, but I want to kind of run No Star Bash under the lights, you know, on night one. So, oh, uh, nice. Fuck it, man. Let's have, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's do it. Let's have some fun, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, and I, I see your point to like only staying at one track because I know, I know, kind of the uh, Club FR guys kind of started doing that and because they have such a rapport with um the track it makes it a yeah. lot easier to book events and i i could see why it it is like that and because i know there's quite a few probably organizations out there that have had to give up either drift days because just it's just not bringing it, there not, there isn't the days left in the year because there's other events taking place and and there's just a lot more events than they, they used to be man like there's a there's Hell, I can think of four organizations in my region that are running events. You know what I'm saying? And some do a good job, some do a shitty job, and they need to get better at it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, dudes, if they like you and, and they have fun at your events, they're going to come. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things that, like, you as an organization, you have to know, like, your place. Like, are you good or you're not good at this? If you're not good at this, move on. You know, there's yeah. other things out there that you can do, you know? I don't know what that is, but... Um, <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you either figure this out or you don't um and and it's it, just, just over the years man you've seen organizations come and they go they come and they go you know what i mean yeah and it usually seems like with the ones that come to the go they try to be a little bit over ambitious and try to do something different and that's what usually <laughs> kind of <laughs> they try to reinvent the wheel yeah they try to reinvent the wheel. That's what it is, you know. And so, and usually it doesn't pay out, but I mean, they might have one or two good events, and it kind of just trickles off after that. But it's yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the bread and butter, it seems like it comes from most of these organizations that uh, put together events are usually doing the regular D days and just kind of keeping the driver counts pretty decently capped and letting everybody get a, a good amount of seat time. Dude, that's everything. Um, I'll be honest with you. Like, uh, for us at Drift Indy, like, and I, and I, you know, all my guys can tell you the saying, like, like T Diddy will tell you, like, if a dude is, if a dude complains about like seat time at one of our events, like, fuck you, you know, plain <laughs> and simple, go, go, go fuck yourself, you know, plain <laughs> and simple. Because, no, I mean, in reality, I mean, like, yeah, don't get, like you just said, like, don't overextend yourself, don't be greedy. Um, you know, you have a certain cost, right? Make sure, you know, you have your track rental, your, your staff cost, your insurance costs and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's not, it's not rocket science. I mean, that's what there's, there's a core recipe to running events. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, that seat time and how you organize and how you deliver this message to the drivers, like, Hey, like, this is our schedule. Like, let's get on it in a way you have to like at drift events, you have to babysit, you have to be like that older asshole of a brother and um you know like yo let's go like we're not here to sit around dude because you know if you sit there and you let that driver like you know he's probably scared to get on track you got to kind of like motivate him to get out there you know what i mean um yeah he's gonna be the, he's gonna be the same driver on social media like oh man i only got like four laps today like 